To photograph your 3D artwork, you can use the room 125 in Nobview Hall, the light box at the bottom floor of Nobview Hall, or you can use your home. So this is the setup that you can use in the room 125, and this is the light box which is located on the bottom floor of Nobview near the ceramics room at the end of the hallway. Before you photograph, it's important to really find and have the best lighting for your artwork. Be sure to use a well-lit room or use a studio light if you have one. If need be, you can use natural light as well. First, we'll show you how to use the setup in the room 125, also known as the 3D room. And what you want to do is place your artwork in the middle of the white paper. Keep in mind before taking your photos to try and not cast a dark shadow onto the artwork. Though mild shadows are okay because they can be edited out later, it is easiest to just avoid it at all if you can. Also try and not show anything but the white backdrop while taking your photos. If a little bit of the room does show, it's okay, you can crop that out later. The types of photos you'll need to take are different angles, detail shots, and a video of the artwork as well. And for the video, it's okay if the room in the back shows a little. Now for this photo, I needed to bring it into a photo editing app. I cropped it down so that only the white background showed. I decided to tweak some of the details, like the brightness, contrast, shadows, and warmth as well. I also decided that this photo needed some white balancing. For this process, I used the app Snapseed. Now we'll show you how to use the light box at the bottom floor of Nobu Hall near the ceramics room. First you have to plug it in. Next you take your artwork and once again you place it in the center of the backdrop. And you pretty much repeat the same process that you did in the first demonstration. You take uh, different angle shots, detail shots, and a video as well. Just remember the importance of photographing 3D objects from all sides you can. Finally, we'll show you how to set up your own backdrop that you can do at home. You'll need a clear wall that has good lighting. You'll also need some thumbtacks and some paper weights or just something heavy to hold on the paper. So you pin up half of the paper onto the wall. and let the other half of the paper roll down on the floor and put something heavy on it so it doesn't curl back. And take your artwork, put it in the middle of the backdrop, and take your photos.